Okay, we're going to wait for people to arrive and then we'll start the stream. I'll uh, post and it's right now. Oops. Yep, go ahead and do that. Okay, I uh, posted the attendance. Okay. Let me know if you need the link again. Anybody who did that. Oh yeah, my keyboard noise is going to be louder during this one because for some reason my mics on my he headphone is not working so I have to use the one camera. Uh oh, extra loud keyboard noise, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I mean we should, I guess we can just start because I, I don't think any more people are going to be coming. Yeah, we could start. Okay, so it looks like one more person came in. Um, okay, so uh, 
to start, so today we're going to go over, we're going to continue with uh, NumPy and we're going to do operations in arithmetic. So let's import NumPy. Right, okay. Um, okay, then we're going to create an array. So np.a range from 1 to 10, right? And that creates from well, 1 to 9, right? Uh, uh, first number inclusive, second number exclusive, okay. So now we're going to do the arithmetic. I think I covered this before, but um, we're just going to go over it uh, one more time. So uh, r plus r, right? So this is going to take each individual element and add it uh, of each one. Now, in this case, we're just going to be using the same one just for the sake of convenience. But uh, you could uh, do it with any two arrays, and you could do this um, multiple things as well. So you can see that it just, um, well, in this case, it pretty much multiplies everything by two. Or it adds the same thing. It adds it by itself. Okay. Then we have r minus r, so it's going to be zero, of course. Um, r times times r, right? So you get squares, and then r divided by r. So you get one for all of them, right? Okay. Uh, also, let's just say that I did. Um, so let's just say r one, and let's just say np dot zeros. And we'll just do like, I don't know, 10 of them, right? Okay, so if I print R1, you get 10 zeros, right? Okay, so now if I do R1 divided by R1, you get uh, all of these NAN values. So what this basically means is that um, there, well, there was basically an error that happened, right? Uh, you can see right here, invalid uh, value encountered in the divide, but NumPy is smart, so it'll, it, it won't completely um, crash the program, it'll just pretty much fill it with NAN values. Um, so in Python we have none, that's the null value. Um, but uh, for NumPy we have NAN, that's like a, a null value in Java or none in regular Python. Um, so that uh, that just means that, you know, I mean in this case there's a zero division error. So that's what that that's for. Um, okay, so now uh, we can also just go ahead and add numbers or do individual operations. So just, uh, again, let me just remind you. So R is just 1 to 9, right? So if we can add 1, and then each element has a 1 added to it, right? Um, we can do, uh, we can take the reciprocal of each of the values. Uh, okay, 1 to R. Okay, there we go. And so now you get the reciprocals of all the values. Um, and then, you know, you can do it pretty much as you, you would expect, right? Um, so now let's do exponents, right? So you can also do powers. So if you remember, this is the operator for exponent in Python. So you can do r raised to the power of r, right? So that's going to be, well, it's going to start off small and then it, you know, goes to really big numbers. So basically x to the power of x, right? Um, okay. So those are the arithmetic operations, right? Again, you can do this with, um, like any values. In this case, we chose these specific values, but uh, you can choose whatever you want. You can put these together and everything, create like PEMDAS kinds of things. Um, so uh, it, it's pretty helpful whenever you're working with uh, these things and you just want to uh, combine them and stuff. Okay, so next concept is going to be universal functions. So um, they uh, basically they um, they allow you to run a function uh, on the particular um, uh, on the arrays, right? So NumPy arrays. So let me just show you. So uh, this is the example that's in the uh, in the file in the GitLab. So uh, add add a mine. Um, so return x plus y, right? So uh, in this case, these could be any data types because again, uh, so Python is a weakly type language, meaning that you don't have to specify data types. Um, but in this case, we're going to use them for arrays, right? So uh, add u fun, right? So uh, it's an addition universal function. Okay. So uh, now we can say np dot from pi func. So it's gonna take in the argument. So first you pr pass in the function. Uh, I forgot what exactly this concept is called, but uh, in some functional programming languages, including Python, um, you you have it to where uh, functions are just treated as uh, other data types. Um, 
there's a concept for it. I forgot what it's called though. So in this case, again, we're just going to treat it like an argument and pass the function into this other function as, a, as another data type. Uh, and then we pass in two and one. So what these uh, two and one are for, it means that there's two inputs, right? We have two inputs right here and we have one output, right? So uh, if we hit enter, then you see uh, add new func, it's going to be a function, right? Uh, can do type. Right. Okay, there we go. So numpy.ufunk, right? So uh, that's the type of the variable. So um, now we can uh, go ahead and uh, run this function, right? So add ufunk. Uh, okay, so now I can say um, np.a range from uh, 1 to 6 and np.a range. Uh, or actually, you know what? Let's do yeah. Actually, sure. A range, um, and let's just say one to um, actually I don't know. Let's just keep it simple. So two to seven, right? Okay. So there we go. You get uh, the value. So np dot a range of one to six, right? That would be one to five, right? Np dot a range from uh, two to seven, right? So that would be from two to six. Uh, sorry, 2 to 5, right? Wait, what? Uh, 2 to 7, okay. There we go, 2 to 6, right? So you're going to add these values together and you see that that's the output that we got, right? Um, so that's that. That's how you create u ufunks. Um, and then uh, there's also some built-in functions inside of uh, NumPy for, uh, for uh, arithmetic. Uh, so uh, before we just said R plus r, but you can also say np.add r comma r, and that will give you the same result. Um, you can do, uh, uh, you can go ahead and su subtract it uh, here. We go um, multiply. So and then you can do power. Okay, there we go. Same result as before. And also you can. Um, I'm pretty sure you can do this the other way as well. But you can also do um, mod. So uh, in this case, it's all going to be zero because we use the same one. But let's just say we do uh, you know, plus two or something, right? Uh, so that will give you the modulo output. Let's just say times three. Uh, Okay, that's times two point five. Okay, wait. Uh, R was what one to nine, right? So uh, if I add two or something, that would be one mod. Okay, yeah, that's why. So I need to actually go ahead and do that to these values right here. Okay. Uh, let's just say I multiply or add two to this, right? Um, there we go. Now you get the values, right? So. Um, and this is basically modulus, so it's giving you the remainder of uh, this thing divided by this thing, right? So uh, if we do r plus 2, right? So the um, 3 divided by 1 uh, has a remainder of 0, 4 divided by 2 has a remainder of 0, uh, 5 divided by 3 has a remainder of 2, um, and so on, right? Okay, so um, now we finished those. Okay, so now we're gonna have just a few more. Uh, th this lesson is gonna be pretty uh, short. So, um, okay. So now we're gonna uh, go over the truncate function. So this one. So uh, in all these functions, by the way, uh, you don't necessarily need to pass in numpy arrays. You can also pass in regular regular uh, Python lists, and it'll automatically convert it into a Python. Uh, array for you. So here, I'll just do that here. So uh, 3.543 comma uh, 4.232, right? So it's going to basically truncate all of the uh, decimals. So basically, if you're thinking in Java, uh, this is like typecasting it to an int, um, although it, it's still a float in this case. You can see the decimal point. Um, okay. And I think if I did a d type, uh, it says float 64 right there. So 
Uh, and D type is for data type, by the way. Um, okay. So um, that's truncate. Uh, then you can also do uh, you can also round them. So a round. Uh, and then you can specify how many points you want. So if you don't specify anything, it'll just round it to the nearest whole number. It, uh, or you can specify how many decimal points. So say it's to the second decimal point, then it'll round it to the second decimal point. If I change this to a six, you can see that it turns into two four instead of two three. Okay. Uh, so next is np dot floor. Um, so this does exactly as what you would expect it to do, right? It's gonna floor it. Um, so let me just actually. Uh, okay, there we go. So I'll just floor it. Uh, okay, so there you go. Now it floored the values. Um, and then there's also seal for sealing. Um, it raises the rounds of values up, right? So, uh, not sealing. <laughs> seal. Okay, sorry. Um, so, okay, minus three and. Uh, Five. So uh, this rounds to minus three because it's rounding up and it's a negative number, right? So, uh, okay, uh, and yeah, that that's that's actually it for for this lesson. Next time we're going to be going over pandas. Um, so what you guys can actually do right now is um, so uh, well you can do pip install pandas. I think I have it. Oh no, actually I didn't have it installed. So yeah, it's gonna install it for me. Uh, there we go, installing. Okay, successfully installed. So uh, now I can import pandas as pd, and that's how we'll get started on the next lesson. But uh, that's it for all for for now. Uh, do you guys have any questions? No. Okay. Oh, trig and log. Okay, sorry. One second. One more thing. Uh, okay, trig and log. So, okay. So, uh, once again, we'll. Uh, I don't know what Okay, import numpy as np. Okay. So, um, let's see. Np dot. Uh, we'll say. Pretty sure it's just time, right? Uh, let's just try this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, it is time. So, okay, here we go. I'm just gonna say, um, let's see. Uh, let's just say there's a right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so np dot um, np dot we'll say uh, r equals n np dot a range and we'll say from 0 to um, let's see so 2 pi is like 6 point something right so we'll go to 7 um, and then we'll just say um, math dot pi let's just say by 2 or let's just do by 4 right uh, not math uh, np dot pi oh, crap that was supposed to be an integer sorry um, wait, wait, oh, okay, no, never mind, never mind, that worked, sorry. Okay, R, uh, there we go. So yeah, you get uh, all these values. So this is, you know, pi by four, pi by two, pi by, uh, three pi by four, pi, and so on, right? So, okay, now I'm gonna write, run np dot sign on R, and you can see that we get uh, so you know, sine of zero is zero. Sine of um, sine of pi by four is root two by root two. Uh, so yeah, that's so. If I do um, I import math, so math dot square square root of two divided by two. Uh, that gets you to point seven. Yeah, so that's that's the number right there, right? So. It's representing in scientific notation by default. So, uh, and then next one was what um, I said, uh, pi by two, then, um, no, sorry, this was pi by two. So it went to one, right? Yeah, so it went to one right here. 
then this was 3 pi by 4, so it went to, again, root 2 by 2. Then uh, right here we had pi, uh, so at pi it's going to be minus 1. Um, so it's, uh, let's see, what is that right here? Uh, let's see, that was, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right here. Okay. So 1.22 times to the minus 16. So yeah, uh, sorry, it should have been, sorry, I only got sine of pi is zero. So uh, right here, this is a really small value, almost almost zero. So it's not going to be exactly perfect because um, the trigonometry functions aren't exactly perfect, but they're close enough. So like you, you, can, you, can, see, you can see this is like 1.22 something times 10 to the minus 16, right? So that's pretty close to zero and so on. So uh, that's uh, all of them. And then if I do the cosine and pretty sure this is 10, and then you can do like uh, arc 10. Oh, sorry. Uh, is it arc 10? Yeah, there we go. Okay, arc 10. Um, See, so yeah, you have all those values. Um, so, and then now we can also do log. So let's just say uh, np dot. Okay, there we go right here. So this time instead of uh, okay, this time we'll just do from say zero to one hundred, right? Okay. So r um, okay. Then we'll just say np dot log of uh, r. There we go. And so it's going to give us the um, log of all of them. So you know, log of zero approaches minus infinity uh, from the right. Um, and then uh, from one, for uh, net, uh, log of uh, one is zero, uh, and, and then uh, so on, you know. I'm pretty sure this is uh, natural log, by the way, um, not log base 10. Um, so yeah, okay, I think that's, that's it, right? Uh, anything else, Ryan? I don't think so. I think you got everything. Okay. Okay, well, that's, that's all. See you guys uh, next time. Yep. Have a good break, everybody. Yeah, have a good break. Uh, Merry Christmas. Okay, bye.